Get ready to dive into the less glamorous side of life in the Wild West. Compared to today's standards, personal hygiene back then was limited and in many cases, surprisingly precarious. From the lack of water for a regular shower to cleaning customs that today would be unthinkable, these hygiene habits were part of everyday life for many. Infrequent baths. Water was not always available, so bathing was a rare luxury. Shared toothbrushes. It was common to share a single toothbrush among several people, often using a knife to clean food remnants from their teeth. Plant use for hair care. They washed their hair with local plant roots, a practice very different from modern shampoos. Family showers. Families used the same bathtub water bathing one after another, even if it was dirty. These habits, while questionable by our standards, reflect the resource limitations in life in an era without modern comforts. Number one, a shared weekly shower. Hygiene in the Old West was limited. Men, women, and children usually bathed only once a week and shared the same bathtub in turns to save water. Those living on ranches or traveling through the desert rarely bathed unless they were near a river or stream to refresh themselves and, if weather permitted, wash their clothes. This rustic lifestyle was far from the daily bathing practice, which didn't become popular until the 18th century. Number two, shared water for everything. In the Wild West, water was such a scarce commodity that every drop was maximized. The water for washing dishes or utensils often came from the same tub used for the entire family's baths, after each member bathed in turns. Obviously, this water was no longer clean. Additionally, it was common for settlers and natives to drink water from contaminated ponds and streams, leading to serious epidemics of diseases like cholera and smallpox claiming many lives. Can you imagine living like this? Number 3. Rough Soap from Fat and Yucca Roots In the Wild West, soap was a rudimentary luxury. American settlers made a very irritating soap from animal fat, lye, and some herbs to reduce its smell, but it was harsh and dried out the skin. Cowboy and traveler Frank Clifford, who documented his experiences in the West, mentioned that this soap was anything but gentle on the skin. However, Mexican women in the West took care of their hygiene in a peculiar and effective way. They used yucca root to wash their hair, which, according to reports, left it surprisingly soft and shiny. Overall, Western women had more consistent hygiene habits than men. Number 4. Body odor was normal. In the Wild West, body odor was part of daily life, largely due to popular beliefs. It was thought that bathing could be harmful to health because cleaning the skin would leave the pores open, allowing germs and bacteria to enter, increasing the risk of disease. So, fewer showers were better. This perception made body odor common and strong, especially among cowboys who would go days or weeks without bathing while riding. Entering a saloon or establishment meant bringing with them the stench of both the rider and the horse waiting outside. The lack of hygiene led to fungal infections in areas like the armpits, groin, buttocks, and feet. Additionally, without the habit of washing hands, cowboys ate with the same hands they used to scratch or tend to itches. Number 5. Months Without Changing Clothes Men in the Old West avoided both showers and changing clothes. They traveled for days or even weeks wearing the same worn-out outfit, stained and smelling of sweat. They often only washed their clothes when they encountered a river or stream, which did not happen frequently. If there was no water nearby, they simply continued on their way without worrying too much about the cleanliness of their garments. Number 6. Latrines with Sickening Smells In the Wild West, Latrines were simply holes in the ground covered by small wooden structures located outside houses. Although they offered some privacy, these bathrooms quickly became sources of nauseating odors and magnets for insects like mosquitoes and spiders. In addition to the unpleasant smell, latrines attracted pests that carried diseases, making the use of these toilets a rather unpleasant experience. Without accessible doctors in the area, any infection or illness caused by exposure to these unsanitary conditions could become a serious health risk, making latrines a daily threat for the inhabitants of the Wild West. Number 7. Corn Cobs as Toilet Paper 
Although toilet paper had been used in China since the 6th century, the inhabitants of the Wild West did not have access to this luxurious comfort. Instead, many opted to use corn husks as a less than hygienic alternative. This method, while ingenious for the time, was not exactly effective or pleasant. Number 8. The Lack of Hygiene in Personal Cleaning In the time of the Wild West, toilet paper as we know it today did not exist. It was the American Joseph Gaiety who patented and modernized it in 1857. Before that, the inhabitants of the Wild West had to make do with what they had on hand. Grass, some leaves and surprisingly, corn cobs. This improvised toilet paper lacked any softness or delicacy, making personal hygiene a considerable challenge. Life in that era was full of hardships, and the lack of basic resources like toilet paper adds to the list of habits that today seem unthinkable. These details of daily life in the Wild West undoubtedly provide a new perspective on the history and evolution of personal hygiene. Number 9. The Same Towel for Everyone Imagine going to a bar and being offered a dirty towel that has been used by others instead of a paper napkin. In the bars of the Wild West, there was a rail hanging from the ceiling where two or three towels were found that men used to wipe the beer foam from their mustaches and beards. The worrying thing is that these towels were not washed or replaced frequently. They quickly became a hotspot for germs and diseases, making the experience of drinking in a bar quite unpleasant. This custom highlights the lack of personal hygiene and questionable cleaning practices of that time, revealing how health standards have changed dramatically over time. Can you imagine using the same towel as everyone else? Number 10. Community Toothbrushes Although brushing teeth was not a widespread habit, some tried to maintain oral hygiene using community toothbrushes. At stage stops and other public establishments, brushes were available for everyone to use, similar to the towels and bars. However, this practice proved harmful, as sharing brushes spread germs and bacteria from mouth to mouth. Number 11 chewing tobacco to moisten the mouth. Dry mouth, especially under the scorching sun of the West, was a common problem for men and women in the Wild West. Due to the lack of saliva and poor oral hygiene, many opted to chew tobacco. This practice was not only unusual but also addictive and became a relief for those traveling through arid and dusty terrain. The inhabitants of the West, mostly men, found comfort in this habit, as chewing tobacco helped generate saliva. However, this process was slow, and once they accumulated enough saliva they would spit, creating an even more unsanitary environment with a strong, unpleasant odor. Number 12. Saliva Deposits in Barbershops and Bars In the Wild West, saliva deposits were, well, a common and repulsive sight in barbershops, banks, and other establishments. These containers were designed for men to spit out chewed tobacco, creating an unpleasant and unhygienic atmosphere. Writer Gregorio Doval Huertas, in his work, A Brief History of the Wild West, Gunmen and Outlaws notes that many bars known as saloons had spitters scattered along the floor. To manage salivation, some establishments used sawdust, which while helping absorb saliva resulted in a breeding ground for germs and bacteria. This practice favored the spread of diseases like tuberculosis and pneumonia, especially among travelers who rented rooms in those taverns and slept in that unsanitary environment. As the consequences of these habits became evident, authorities began to ban these practices, imposing fines of up to $500 or prison sentences, sometimes combining both. Number 13. Beds Infested with Insects in the Wild West, many opted to build makeshift beds with hay or straw to avoid sleeping directly on the ground. However, these beds were rarely cleaned, not even the sheets, making them a breeding ground for lice and other insects. Bites from these parasites not only caused discomfort, but could also transmit diseases, making rest even more problematic. Number 14. Whiskey for hair washing. Surprisingly, whiskey had multiple uses in the Wild West. Besides being a popular drink, men used it as a pain reliever before undergoing tooth extractions. Women on the other hand, employed a mixture of whiskey with castor oil to clean their hair. This method was complemented by rinses with rainwater or sodium bicarbonate solutions. Whiskey was also used to disinfect medical instruments in times of need when no alternatives were available. Number 15. 
The iconic red bandana, often associated with cowboys, was much more than just a fashion statement. It had practical applications as well. It served to protect the skin from harsh weather conditions, including the intense sun and bitter cold during winter. Additionally, cowboys used bandanas to cover their noses and ears from dust storms, which were a frequent hazard in the arid environment of the West. This multifunctional accessory exemplified the resourcefulness of those living in such challenging conditions, demonstrating how even small items could significantly impact daily survival. Hello Time Voyagers friends! If you enjoyed the content, please take a moment to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Your support means the world to us and helps us continue creating exciting videos. Don't forget to follow us on our social media channels, Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. We genuinely welcome your comments and love hearing your thoughts. A big hug to all our followers and a heartfelt thank you to our troops and officials for their invaluable support. We appreciate you being here.